The jury is deliberating right now on the fate of Russell Tillis. He's the Jacksonville man convicted of murdering Joni Gunter and burying her dismembered body in his backyard. Both sides rested their cases this afternoon in the sentencing hearing. News 4 Jacks reporter Scott Johnson joins us live from the courthouse. Now, Scott, this comes down to whether he gets life in prison or the death penalty. It does, Mary. He's been, uh, the jury has been inside deliberating for about four hours since the judge released them to start discussing what to do about Russell Tillis. Defense prosecutors did their closing statements this morning after we heard from Tillis's the woman that he impregnated in the early 1980s and had a child with. They dated for about a year. We also heard from his son, both asking the jury to not sentence him to death seeing there is value in Russell Tillis remaining alive. Of course, laws changed in 2017. There has to be a unanimous jury ruling to give him the death penalty. If even one votes against it, he gets life in prison. His defense lawyers laid it out for the jury. The question now is will he die in prison of natural causes? Or will he die when a needle is stuck in his arm and his body is pumped full of lethal chemicals until his heart stops? Your verdict has determined that Russell Tillis no longer has the right to live among us. But he does not need to die for his crimes. The prosecution has been making the case that Tillis is a serial abuser of women and he has been doing it for decades. Defense lawyers saying he was abused sexually and physically so much as a child it poisoned him in their words for the rest of his life and he deserves some sort of mercy. Still waiting on the jury. No word if they'll make a decision tonight or by tomorrow. We're live downtown to the courthouse. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.